Well, the access roads here at Salado Creek and 35 are both closed in both directions. I want to show you when you step out into this, it just starts with a couple inches, but it veers off. If you can see these signs behind me, there are feet of water just piling up on these roads. And now not all of these places are barricaded off, so you want to make sure that you're watching out for the roads. Now, some other typical flooding spots that we've seen uh, that we usually see are this turnaround, but we want to make sure if you're using this on your morning commute, the turnaround is open. Traffic's been flowing here, but the access roads are closed. Now, earlier we were over at Bassey Road in 281, and that was actually clear, and as well as a typical flooding area that we usually see on I-35 and McCullough. That's also clear. Now, we want to make sure that if you are using these flooded roads, a lot of the roads leading up to them seem fine, but we saw, we saw someone come down this road and almost go into the water, so just make sure you're being careful out there.